Hi guys, Matt here from Dutch Oven Today. Today, I'd like to talk about different sizes of Dutch ovens and how they relate to traditional baking. So, I've got two Dutch ovens here. These are actually my father's. These are the Dutch ovens I grew up around, or at least among them. If you notice, they have different thicknesses. Let's see if I can get that better. There we go. They have different thicknesses. This one is a 12 inch Dutch oven, you know, and I use a 12 inch in most of my videos, but this is a 12 inch deep Dutch oven. It has more volume. The advantage of that is you can make more food. If you're doing something like a roast or whatnot that wouldn't fit in this space of a regular Dutch oven. It's also good for making, you know, large breads and stuff like that. But its disadvantage is that, <clears throat> excuse me, being deeper, when you're baking thinner things like cakes, cobblers, brownies, it takes longer because you've got more dead air space for it to heat up before it actually cooks the food. So you actually have a danger of burning your bottom before your top is done. And if you're baking things like brownies and whatnot, that's where the regular depth Dutch oven does well. But it's great for things like stews, soups, anything like that, because you can make a lot more and you don't really need to worry about burning it. I've got a traditional 9 by 13 well used baking pan here. Make sure I get that in frame. Most recipes use either one of these or they call for one of these, an 8 by 8. Go for an 8 by 8 is equivalent to an 8 inch Dutch oven. Go figure, huh? But area wise, one of these is actually about half of these. So an 8 inch Dutch oven, I don't have one here to show you, is half of a 12 inch Dutch oven in volume, in area. <clears throat> and again, 12 inch is equivalent to a 9 by 13 area wise. So when you're doing a recipe that might normally call for a pan this size, you can easily transit, transport it or transform it into a regular 12 inch Dutch oven. And there you go. You know how much space you need. An eight inch is equivalent to half a nine by 13 pan or an eight by eight pan. Who the thunk? Now here I've got a 10 inch Dutch oven. 10 inch Dutch ovens maintain three quarters the size of a 12 inch Dutch oven. I also don't have one here, but a 14 is double a 12 inch. Yeah, you wouldn't think so, but when you do the math, you know, pi, r squared, area, radius, diameter, all that stuff, 14 is double a 12, and 8 is half of a 12. 10 is the ugly stepchild. Sorry out there if that struck a chord, anybody. But yeah, so 10 inch, 3 quarter. So if I, for beginning Dutch oven owners, I would say go with a 12 inch regular depth. If you're looking to branch out, go ahead and get a, a deep if you want. Or you can get an 8 inch, which I don't have yet either. They're a little hard to find. Two main cast iron makers um, in the United States are Lodge, which is this one, and Camp Chef. I have a Camp Chef. My regular 12 inches is a Camp Chef. Lodge is the only one I've seen making an 8 inch Dutch oven. Now, it's not the best for large groups, but... You know, if you've got a couple or a couple with young children, an eight inch might be all that you need to cook on a on a 
evening meal or while camping. And then a, a 12 inch is the best all around. If you've got a lot of people, go ahead and get a 14 incher. 10, this was actually a gift given to my dad. That's why he has a, a 10 incher. I, I would honestly probably skip a 10 incher. Um, they, they are good size wise, but when adapting recipes, most, again, most things again call for a recipe, a pan either this big or this big. So why not have the Dutch ovens that are the same size so it's easiest for you to transform your regular baking recipe to a Dutch oven recipe. I hope this has been helpful for you. Oh, one other thing. The, the aluminum ball baking inside a Dutch oven trick, great. That's another great reason for a deep Dutch oven. You can eat, bake things like cheesecakes in their original spring form pans by doing that trick inside a deep Dutch oven. A regular depth Dutch oven is a little too shallow to pull off something like that. But yeah, imagine that cheesecake in a Dutch oven. Oh, it will be on the show. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see cheesecake in a Dutch oven. Anyway, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope this has been useful for you. If you have any questions about transforming a regular baking recipe to your Dutch oven, let me know down in the comments below. I'll see you tomorrow.